What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sketch Day Live. I think I figured out a way to <clears throat> have the Instagrammers, at least their chat, on the screen. So I can respond to you guys and not have to kind of keep you out in the dark. So I'll have that up if you want to say hi. What's up? Happy Thursday. Sorry, I've been MIA. I've been so busy and I've got some really exciting stuff um, that I cannot talk about yet happening in the background. Whew, this week's been crazy. Um, but we're gonna kick things off, get started like we do here on Sketch Day. All right, check in, let me know where you're watching from. I'm not using my iPad today, by the way. I was using it earlier on an Adobe stream. And if you haven't, um, check out Photoshop Camera for the iPhone, it's actually pretty cool. Check that out. Um, you're really awesome okay hopefully this doesn't confuse me too much mm. all right what's up Tom hello hello gotcha googly gotcha what's up I'm gonna I'm gonna quit slack here it's distracting me all right let's get started I guess you can kind of see see me drawing twice, so maybe that's a little bit weird. I can turn it off too, though. But point being, I think I can watch both things happening and not have it be too distracting. All right. Sugle Turk on Instagram says, "Thanks for the broadcast." All right, I'm going to. I'm going to turn that off though, because I think it's a little distracting. Because you see my hand twice, right? It's a little distracting. So, let me turn that off. But at least I have it. Now I just need to figure out a way to get the feed or something. Aaron DeCosta wants me to draw some super soft edged furniture. Maybe we can do that. All right, maybe we can do that. We're just gonna start by warming up with some straight lines. I'm gonna just jump right in. I missed you guys. My apologies. It's been, it's like, I shouldn't complain about being busy because life's been really good. <laughs> uh, but I was just streaming on Adobe today, like I was saying. It's kind of draining when you stream like constantly. Hello, the guy who doesn't get sarcasm. Is that like a real thing? Because when I first came to the United States, I didn't understand sarcasm. I just thought everyone was really dry and mean. It took me a while to kind of figure out what was happening, but hello, welcome. Um, initially, I thought maybe I'll do some flashlights or something simple. I just want to do some simple objects today. So if you have something simple, we got a request for soft edged furniture. We could do some office chairs, perhaps. Maybe some uh, Ottoman recliner type stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I could do I could do a picture in picture. That I could do. Yeah, there we go. If you want to see me while I draw. If you don't want to see me while I draw, that's fine. You can turn off the stream. Deal with it. <laughs> Just kidding. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm always curious. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Check out Photoshop Camera. They're not paying me to say that, but it's actually a really cool app. Um, I posted something I created from the app in on my Instagram today. So check that out. Did a car yesterday. I don't really want to sketch any cars today or shoes if I can help it. So appreciate the suggestions, ideas, and so forth. Let's just get warm. Like we do. I'll be back tomorrow as well, and I think Saturday, Sunday, to make up for this week. All right. Shout out and welcome to the patrons, Tom. Solid. You're a real one. Thank you. Latrice usually checks in. Oh, there he is. What's up, Latrice? Oh, thank you. Oh, Latrice, did you join today on Adobe? Because I was streaming, guys. And my hardware just decided to be like, peace out, I'm going home. So I had to like 
restart the stream and restart my software. I had to reboot the computers I was using, my phone, because I was uh, mirroring the content from my phone. So I had to like, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. I, at least I should say I felt bad because they pay me to do it. So, and I, you know, I want to make a good impression. You know, I take what I do seriously. Even if we're having fun, I take it seriously. I made the mistake today of checking my spam comments on YouTube. Holy cow, people are just vile. I forgot how vile people are and racist and hateful. <laughs> Oh, I should show you sometime. It's crazy. Crazy. All right, we got some questions here. Aaron, I will do some super soft edge furniture for you, my love. Um, video and developing forms from nature. Do you have an example or idea, maybe a prompt? If there's something from nature I could start with, let me know. Francisco Diaz. I guess if I'm doing something soft, I'm going to go with... <clears throat> I'm gonna go with my pencil. Hello, Svetlana and Art. Happy Thursday to you too. Did you get the chance to look into the Inkt Yes, I did look into the Inktober thing. I will speak on that. I will speak on that in just a sec. What's up, Lori? Welcome. Man, we got all the Patreons here. We got a full house. I'm so happy. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I always welcome suggestions, but especially from the patrons. So if you want to get your ideas in, I did a roller skate for Lori. Um, Tom, we did the reflective uh, thing. Patreon behind the scenes of the D. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, I do need to do another behind the scenes for Patreon. So that's a really good idea. Thank you, Tom. Much appreciated. Uh, let's see. Man, so many questions here. Richard, thoughts on the iPad Pro? Okay, so I got I got lots to talk about. So that's good. I'm going to try and do some sort of soft furniture here, as requested by Aaron DaCosta. Some sort of soft furniture. If you really like furniture, there's a guy on Instagram, Mauricio Sarin, Sanin? I don't remember how to, what his last name is, but check him out. He's really good. He does a lot of like, basically furniture paintings, a lot. So you can check those out. So I'm sketching really lightly here. You probably can't even see it, <laughs> honestly. Let me, let's see, which light can I kill? Let me kill this light. Maybe that'll show up a little bit better. Okay, so you can kind of see the lines there now. Um, how are we looking on Insta? You can barely see the lines, but you want to sketch light until you get it right. I have some new stickers coming as well, and I'm going to do a few giveaways. Um, there are stickers available on the website, but I want to do some giveaways this time because I'll have like a set of like 10 stickers. Abstraction of forms in nature. Okay, we could do that. Yay, Lori likes the roller skate. Awesome. So basically what I'm sketching here is just a little Ottoman chair combo. Just keeping it nice and light till we get it right, like I said. So the reason for that is it's easier to fix your mistakes if you sketch lightly and then finalize. I wish I could tell you the good news, but um, I can't. I can tell you in a few weeks and I will say it's it's been a humbling, exciting, uh, just incredible week. Um, just a week of unexpected good things. That's all I'll say. So, And in a very abstract way, I will say Always follow your passion no matter what. And good things, good things will come of it, all right? That's what I'll say. This music is brought to you by the fabulous Paul Sohi, friend of mine, tasked with making me some beats. So he's been, he's been hard at work. These are custom beats for Sketch-A-Day, live. 
custom beats, so I did pay him for them, by the way. I'm gonna go with orange for this chair, orange and chrome. And this should this should go pretty quickly, so let me know if you have other requests, ideas, suggestions on what to draw. Um, we had one for abstracting forms in nature, so maybe what I can do is we can pick a product and then see if we can be inspired and abstract that form in nature. That's what we'll do. All right. This is Sketch Today Live. Thanks for joining. So I'm going with just an orange here on this chair and the ottoman. Once again, start light until you get it right. Headphones, interesting. Thank you, Latrice. Thank you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you guys more. Like it, it's kind of blowing my mind. Hello, design education, whoever you are. Mark, thank you. It's not Post Malone. Are you a Post Malone fan? Did you know that Post Malone lives up the street from me? And I'm not kidding. He actually lives up the street from where I live. So <laughs> sometimes people see him in the area. It's kind of cool. All right. So since this is like a soft material, I'm just going to scribble my marker here. I'm trying to be mindful of the structure of the thing. Okay, and I'll I'll grab some tracing paper and show you what I mean, all right? In terms of in terms of structure here, and then we'll continue to build this value as we go. Maybe I'll grab some tracing paper if I can find it. Welcome to my messy life. Oh, also, um, Tom, I did find a piece of shiny material here. And this is actually cool because you can see the reflections and how they change. So if you, if you get something shiny like this, so here, here it is flat, for example, right? And as I bend this, you can see the reflection in the ceiling. As I bend this, look at what happens to all those things in the ceiling. We're starting to get reflected light on the table, right? As I form this cylinder. So if you ever look at something round, and I wish I had a chrome piece of this paper, but I couldn't find a chrome one. I just got this at my art store. Um, even as I rotate this, right, the position of these highlights doesn't change unless I change the angle of the object. So much like a mirror, as I change the angle here, you can kind of see. So having tools like this as you draw, um, super helpful, right? Because you can kind of think of it like a car body side. You could even crease the paper, um, change things as you go, and then have that effect you're after. Okay, let me grab my tracing paper. I just spotted it. <laughs> Lori says, I need a recon photo of Post Malone. Yeah, one of my friends on Instagram that lives local, she just started blowing up her Instagram story with photos of Post Malone because she totally ran into him at like a 7-Eleven and then they ended up hanging out all day. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Lori says, I don't believe you. All right, so looking at the cross section here, I'm thinking of an ellipse, right? Another shape through here and then another ellipse, okay? So if we were to kind of map out the shape, you'd have ellipses going all the way around, right? Let me know if this stuff is helpful, by the way. This is just how I think about shapes. So here's the cross sections. And so if these are my cross sections, then I'm going to have a nice shadow core right here. Okay. So that'll be my shadow core. And then we're going to get, <laughs> we're going to get like highlights. Um, so my friend Paul, he named all these tracks, by the way. Um, I need to remember what this one's called. I'll, I'll tell you guys. It probably is a funny name. This one is called, oh, this one's just called Vibes. <laughs> but... There's another song called, This Elevator Stopped Working and Now I'm Stuck. There's another one called... There's another one called Drunk Choir. Um, there's one called, I Didn't Get Inception. I could play that one for you next. Pretty cool. All right, anyhow, so 
as you're thinking about your form, think about the geometry because that's going to tell you how to shade the thing, right? Because if I connect all of these shapes together, I'm going to get my shadow core and highlight on the other side. So as I'm shading the fabric here, all right, as I'm shading this fabric, I'm going to be thinking about that raw geometry. So break it down, get down, break it down. I need to come up with a moniker for that. All right, but for real, just break it down. You got this. Okay, <clears throat> let's keep going here. Let me zoom in for you Instagram animals. <clears throat> Roshan, what's up? Roshan Hakim, he's, uh, we call him the king of Instagram. Um, for those who don't know Roshan, king of Instagram design, so um, you can go check him out. All right, I'm just gonna keep shading in here. <laughs> uh, Roshan. Legend has it he was actually created in a lab because his skill is off the charts. He brings order to chaos in design. <laughs> All right, cute little soft chair as requested. Well, furniture as requested. Oh, I was like, what is that sound? I'm doing my laundry. So interesting thing this week. Do you guys want to see a cool video? can I share this? I think it's on my iPad. Someone tried to break into my car this week. <laughs> and I have a security camera in the front of my house. So I want to show this to you because the guy, I mean, he's, he's trying to be clever. You know, let me plug in here. If you're on Instagram, you're not going to see this. <clears throat> All right, let me cut over here. See if this will work. Uh, boom, there we go. All right. Why is this not working? Video is playing on a TV using AirPlay. All right, let's tap on it again. Okay, so there's the guy. Do you see him on the side? He's on the side right there, right? Well, you can't see my mouse, but he's on the side of my truck. This is at like 1.30 in the morning, by the way. There he is. Okay, he's creeping around. He's like, what's happening? What's going on? Post Malone tried to break into my car. <laughs> All right, there he is. And then there's a sound that plays. I don't know if you can hear it, maybe not. Let's do that again. I'm not sure if you can hear the sound. Probably not, because it's just on my Yeti. But anyhow, my camera played an alarm. And then he just books it, just takes off, absolutely takes off <sighs> up the street. Anyhow, so that was fun this week. <laughs> Thankfully, my security system worked. I actually helped work on that product um, with a, not, I mean, just a little bit at the beginning with a friend of mine named Ben Clement when I worked at security company, home security, uh, smart home company as that. Um, so it actually picks up on people. It picks up on people, like actual humans. And then if a human's there when they're not supposed to be there, it'll scream at them. So it's kind of cool. And so I woke up that morning and I had an alert. I was like, what? And you know, when, when you get alerts like that, when you're you're not awake, it's, it's always a little... Gebre wants me to draw a palm tree with a chrome trunk. Maybe next time. Um, <laughs> portrait. No, I actually did call the cops. Thankfully, I'm, I'm still here, but I did call the cops. That's a very subtle joke, by the way. Sad joke. Um, and they took it, they, they took the video, and they're going to try and find him, because I guess he, he broke into a few cars in the area. So... He's probably a Post Malone fan, to be honest. He's probably a Post Malone fan. All right, so again, just, whoa, my washing machine is going crazy. It's a laundry day. Um, 
<laughs> so yeah, if you wanna if you wanna learn how to really design, just follow Roshan on Instagram. Legend has it he is a Post Malone fan as well. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong, but it would make sense. But uh, yes, Lori, he does live up the street from me. Um, I say up the street, but it's like maybe two miles up the road, up in the up in the canyon right by where I live. So I could go say hi someday. Say what's up, Post. Would you like a Bud Light? I feel like a lot of people are watching today and I don't know why, but welcome. <laughs> if you're new here, subscribe and all that good stuff, please. All right, let's finish our cushions here. Cushions for the Tushins. Let me see what else is new in my life um, yeah not much just been busy 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 if only, if only my kids were old enough to be my little assistants but they probably wouldn't have it either and they'd want to be they'd want to be paid too much that's the problem with with kids doing stuff they have a warped sense of the value of their labor. You feel me? Lord, okay, if you need proof, okay, I'm going to... Um, actually, if you listen to the Joe Rogan episode with Post Malone, he talks about living in Utah. All right, so that's your first, first little bit of evidence for you. He lives in Utah. Um, the next bit, I will procure photos of Post Malone local. And you could, you could just Google it. People run into him all the time at the 7-Eleven near, near my house. People run into him all the time. Oh, what's up? Nia Cyan Design, hello. All right, I'm gonna do this base in chrome real quick. I think I'm gonna have to pause my washing machine because it's about to flip over and die. I think it's unbalanced right now. All right, so this chrome's gonna, it's gonna reflect the underside of the chair, right? So if the underside's orange as well, we're gonna get some orange in here. So I'm gonna save that on the side. We'll just start shading in nice and light here on our chrome. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna get some healthy, bits of orange happening in here probably. So I'm just going to plan for that. And then let's make this base chrome as well. This is some tacky modern furniture, but it is soft. Like you guys want it. Um, let's do some shadow prep here. All right, a little bit of shadow prep as well post the link to Roshan's page I can't I can't manipulate my phone at the same time so unfortunately that's not gonna happen um, I guess I could post it in the I could post it in the chat for YouTube Roshan Hakim he's even on Gumroad and he has like all these awesome assets Maybe that's one thing I'll try and do each stream is just point out like a, a good designer to follow um, or illustrator or some creative person. But if you want to check out Roshan's stuff, there you go. Francisco's asking if I have tutorials on materials. I do. All right, so I'm going to search for that. I'll be your Google. I'll be your Google. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? How to sketch materials. Look at that. Boom. Right there. Boom. <laughs> Roshan is dope. You should check him out. Do you really don't want me to share your Instagram, Roshan? You're good, man. 
I'm not just I'm not just like trolling you or anything. Like you're solid. But if you really want me to take it down, I will. I will respect your wishes. So uh Gebre, if you wanna see that link, it's on YouTube. Alright. So just starting to work on the chrome here. This camera is really bright, so let me make a quick adjustment. Alright, that's a little bit better. Shouldn't be as bright now. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are looking to like learn how to do 3D stuff, um, super solid content, like crazy. I remember when Keyshot first came out. It's come a long way. That's a product by a company called, I forget, <laughs> Luxion. Um, really great product if you're into um, 3D product design anyway. So with Chrome, you just want to be kind of deliberate with your reflections, crisp, whatever. Again, if you can get a real sample of something and just keep your eyes open, Oftentimes you'll be able to kind of just make those connections with what's happening. Like I did with that shiny piece of paper, right? I, don't know her. I think this song is called I Don't Know Her, I think. All right, so just like that shiny paper that I had even here, on this base, it's a little bit off, but here on this base, um, having these like artifacts in here, these reflective spots, that's what's gonna give you your your chrome look and feel. All right, maybe some someone or something is in the scene here on the side, and that's reflecting in, so we can capture that. Something like that right there. Okay, and then if we want to create the blend across, you can use pencil, you could use an airbrush. Um, I'm not gonna break out the airbrush today, guys. We did that for Tom. I'm not gonna break it out today, but you can use airbrush as well to kind of get you that, that tone and shade. And then of course, contrast is your friend, all right? Contrast is your friend. So a little bit of marker here. I'm using brush markers. Um, brush markers are awesome. Did I did I share your page, Lori? Do you want me to share your page, by the way? I think I had mentioned it last time. Um, Lori's actually really good at drawing people and fashion stuff. She's one of our patrons as well. Happy to give that plug. The patron plug. <laughs> But yes, Lori, I will be procur procuring evidence for you, since you don't believe me, about Posty. Alright, so let's just enhance our contrast here. And then I'm going to add the outline to the, the sketch, as well as um, a little bit of a background. But like I said, we're going to get that orange reflecting into the chrome and it may feel weird like doing this like oh my goodness I'm putting orange on this chrome but you are gonna get that color now I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like but I'm just kind of coloring in here on my chrome just do a little blend. All right, we're going to get a little bit of that in here as well. We're going to pick up a little bit of the base. It's all about that base right in here. All right, so I'm not exactly calculating all this. I could probably look a little different and someone's gonna be like well actually but ain't nobody got time for that right now so sketch today live thanks for joining and hanging out on this beautiful Thursday at least it's beautiful where I am 
Hope you all are doing well, happy and healthy, as always. All right, so up next, I believe we were gonna kind of interpret nature in a product of some sort. So I just have to figure out what product you guys want me to do that in and what inspiration from nature I'm gonna take. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do I ever check out the future is okay? No, uh, oh. That's Lori. Oh, what's up, Ricky? Hey, hey. Lost an acoustic design student second year. All right. Oh, you want me to do your homework? Mmm. Clever. Clever. Uh, let's see. Light till it's right, then it gets dark. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hello, Alexander. It's been a long time. It's been a few days, at least. But I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. We ain't stopping. We're just gonna keep this popping. I shouldn't rap. I tried to rap once and my sister was like, don't ever do that again. <laughs> Straight up, it was so terrible. So terrible. Yeah, anyway, thanks for joining again. If it's your first time, hit that subscribe and like button. It's crazy to think there's 160 or 116,000 people that like this page but we only get like 44 watching so to all you new people keep it real keep watching keep coming on the adobe account that i stream to there's like 20,000 people watching <laughs> not all at the same time but still that's it's like a crazy thought that 20,000 people watch something you do isn't that crazy it's pretty nuts All right, so let's get some contrasty bits in here on our base. Yeah, this is a fun song. I didn't get Inception. Have you guys gone and seen Tenet yet? Have you seen Tenet? No spoilers, please. I haven't seen it yet but I want to, I want to really badly. I just can't decide if it's worth risking potentially my health. I know, controversial opinion. Some people don't think masks help, some people do. And I'm not gonna fight anybody on that, but. All right, let's use a pen here. So I started light with some pencil. Now I'm just using some pen. We can use this to kind of help with our chrome, but also get my outline in here. And where it makes sense, use your wrist. So I'm just putting the pad of my hand right here on my paper. Let's make this a little bit brighter for you guys now. There we go. Just a touch, just a titch. All right, so got this pen. This is a little bit off, I will admit. I like showing you my mistakes preemptively. Helps keep my email inbox a little cleaner. All right, so since this is a little soft, I'm just gonna go around the perimeter. Just a little, little bit of a disjointed textured line here. If you wanted to use pencil, you could as well, right? Just capture perhaps some of these fibers. And our little cushion. A little cushion for the tushin. Or cushy for the tushy, I should say. <laughs> All right. I don't know how I feel about doing your homework for you now. Whoever it was that asked. You shouldn't have told me it was your homework. <laughs> I always feel weird when people ask me to basically do their homework for them. But I'll, I will I will allow it this time. So 
So one thing cool about Roshan, I'll toot his horn one more time, is he actually uses um, what he learns in photography as well as what he learns in rendering to like help each of those things, but also to help make his sketches better. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like the more you keep your eyes open and observe things, the better you're gonna get because you'll be like, oh yeah, I know this happens in real life. What's a good abstraction for that? And how do I, how do I quickly sketch that out? All right, so on the Inktober topic, um, if you guys aren't aware, there's some beef with, I forgot the guy's name, Alfonso something and Inktober dude. I also forget his name. I'm terrible with names. So Inktober dude apparently is being accused of stealing. Alfonso's work. Now, I can't speak for the intention of... Oh, Jake Parker, that's his name. I can't speak for Jake's intentions, but I do know that in creativity, sometimes... So before memes were just jokes, there's actually a... So if you're familiar with Richard Dawkins, he actually... Um, talked about memes as these cultural bits of information that are propagated throughout society unbeknownst to us like just ideas it's the ability for ideas to kind of have their own think of it like DNA ideas having DNA so my thought is it is possible that Jake the artist I'm not saying this is the case but it's possible that he saw Alonzo Alfonso's work before and was subconsciously influenced by that work. It's happened to me. One of my, one of the reasons I haven't even like released my book yet is I have to make sure that I either give credit or I make sure that the ideas that I'm proposing are my, um, version or my, uh, learning that I've kind of accumulated over the years. So I don't want to, um, I don't want to make that mistake, right? And so it does happen. It happens where as a creative sometimes, I think I'm gonna have to turn off my washing machine. Um, it happens sometimes where you just, you have an idea and it's influenced by something else. You know, everything's a remix, right? But in this case, in the beef, What's happening is Jake's work looks an awful lot like Alfonso's. It's a book about pen and ink drawing that they're both, at least Jake's releasing, hoping to release. And if you don't know who Jake Parker is, he's the guy behind Inktober, Inktober. So the book is Inktober all year or year round, something like that. So I took the time to listen to this whole video that Alfonso put together, comparing some of the sample pages from that Inktober book to his book. And it is striking, the similarities are very striking, but what I will say, like I said, is sometimes, sometimes those ideas just come and we're not sure where they come from. At the very least, Jake, I think, should acknowledge the similarities. Um, also, I was reading through some of the comments, and one thing that happens when you write a book, when you're as big as Jake and you write a book, I should say, is you get help from the publishing company, where they'll go and they'll source, or rather propose the content. So, I wouldn't be surprised if the publishing company, sorry if this all sounds like inside baseball, but I wouldn't be surprised if the publishing company had found Alfonso's book and was like, hey, this is actually a really good outline. Let's have Jake write content based on this outline. And if that were the case, then of course, some of the practices, it's like if I do, if I did a marker drawing book, right? Chances are those marker techniques that I cover in my book would be similar to techniques that somebody else may have used before. I think that's natural. So, um, anyhow, <laughs> that is my long spiel on Jake Parker. 
and that book. I'm trying to decide if I want to finish out this background or not. I think I will. Just a little bit more. Let's see, Roshan says... Uh, got that from me about nine years ago. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I real okay, so I realized the draw from observation, draw from imagination thing when I was in school. And we were trying to draw chrome. And our teacher actually said, yeah, go outside, go look at some chrome. And then I did, and I was like, oh, that's how you draw chrome. And it's like a stupid, not stupid, it, it's just dead simple. Like, you can't just draw something if you've never taken the time to observe it and understand what's happening. Like, you have to, it's like, part of the reason I'm not great at drawing people, well, as I, as I like to think anyways, as I would like to be, is I haven't, I haven't done as much observation, observational drawing as I could or should when it comes to people. So that is one of the reasons. All right, so there is my chair. I'm gonna go ahead and sign that. Boom, 2020, baby. Um, this will be available on the uh, Patreon folder for patrons, including our little overlay here. Um, I'll go ahead and overlay it a little bit more so you can see, again, Here's this chair, right? If I look at the cross section of this chair, I'm gonna get my shadow core happening right here, just like I have in the sketch. All right, and as light's coming down, I have my highlight. Same thing on the arms, right? You can kind of see that. On the top here of this Ottoman thing, we're gonna get a little bit of highlight, which you can kind of see in my drawing, as well as that shadow core, All right? And then this shape on the bottom is just a cylinder, slightly tapered, All right? So that's why we get, you know, that wrap reflections happening. Here we're getting the reflection from bottom to top and so on. So that's how you, that's how I anyways, think through the drawing. That's how, that's how I think through lighting a scene like this. All right, I'm gonna do one more drawing and we're gonna pull from nature was the request. Uh, let's see what I can pull up here. Huh. And how do I share this influence with you, this nature picture? I wonder if I could throw it up on the frame here real quick. Give me just a second. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna try and look up something here. Let's just say, mm, all right, I know I said I wasn't gonna do a shoe, but let's do a shoe. Um, okay, so I found, I found an image of a cheetah, and I'm going to use that image. Let's see, this is in my downloads folder. Let's use this image. Okay. I'll just throw this up so you guys on YouTube can see it as a reference. Boom, there it is. So I have this this cheetah image on Instagram. I'm sorry you don't have that. Um, Gabri wants me to do a tactical shoe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I was thinking more like a, a trainer or hiker or something like that. Um, I guess it could be a tactical trainer. <laughs> Tactical chair. All right, so I have this cheetah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink that and have that on the page, just for reference, or the screen rather, just for reference for you guys. All right, so there's our cheetah, and now I can start to work on my design. Welcome to Sketch Day Live again. Sorry if you're late. Thanks for joining. Hello, hello. forgot I had a zoom call <laughs> so I just got a message about it <laughs> so I may I may wrap this up wrap this up really really quickly um, all right let me catch up on the chat here real quick uh, oh watching tenant this weekend cool cool uh, how do I draw anything 3d just like your chair you just got to think about it in simple terms there are awesome videos on the channel at least I think they're they're decent um, about how to draw anything really 
how to draw anything. Um, and it just shows you how to break down. Why is this search not working right now? Draw anything. Boom. Let's see if that works. Boom, boom. All right. I'm going to copy this link. It's actually, uh, this video has 200 and almost 30,000 views. Okay. And it's just, just an approach to how to draw anything. Um, once again, if you are curious about materials, oops, let me delete that one. My text replace did not work. All right. If you're curious about materials I use, you can use that link. Um, I'll pin that and you can see what I'm doing. All right, let's do a shoe based on this cheetah. So as I'm looking at this, what I'm looking for personally anyways, is I'm going to look at things like curves. Um, I wonder if I should do a side view or a perspective view. I think I'll just do a perspective view. All right, so we can start with something like a curve here, maybe a line, a heel, all right, something. I'll just do something like this. And Gebre wanted a tactical shoe, so I'm gonna do some sort of tactical trainer. So I have a generic shape here on the page that I'm kind of starting with. Slight perspective, not a ton. Slight because we're seeing a little bit of the inside. So it's almost like the shoe is slightly rotated um, rather than being like a full on perspective shoe. So what I'm looking at, if you look at the cheetah on the screen, you can flip to that full screen again if you want, boom. Um, but what I'm looking for is the overall gesture of this form, okay? Actually, let me go ahead and open this up on my screen so I can see it a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm just looking at gestures. So I might look at, you know, some of these lines as the cheetah is in motion. How do I, how do I capture, you know, some of this energy, if you will? And maybe it's the legs, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's the gesture I want to capture. So we've got front leg, front leg, back leg, and perhaps even a little overlay here and Maybe some shape like this, right? So even even something like that, where I'm pulling the shape of the legs, and maybe this actually needs to come down more, be more of an intersection here, right? But I'm trying to capture that, that energy, and then we've got this little tail bump here, right? So I can I can bring that in. But now I have some lines on my design that I can use. Kind of describe this form, all right? You know, maybe even a slight shape in the front of the toe, all right? And if I want to continue pulling here, where the eye stay is, I may have some additional lines that I can kind of pull in here as well, all right? Let me just make sure I have enough wrap so this doesn't feel too off all right so I've got these lines so now that I have these lines I have to try and figure out how to connect them while preserving the essence thinking about part breakup and so forth right and if this is a, a shoe I'm gonna have some sort of 3d geometry through here that can kind of capture um, might even be the taper in the leg is something else I could try and capture here you know as part of this cushioning system or maybe it's a tactical element on the shoe I don't know this could be the the roll cage it's starting to feel like a basketball shoe sorry Gebre. Um but maybe this cage itself you know and even the slight taper in these lines could be related to our cheetah um, we change things as we go as well and now um, if we want to even take it a step further we could have the material <laughs> could have the material be somewhat related to the animal as well. All right, let's do some quick laces. Lacing's really hard, but again, you don't really know how to draw laces unless you act, draw real laces and kind of understand how they work. So if you're interested in drawing laces, my advice would be just practice drawing them from a real shoe and that'll give you um, 
give you a bit of guidance as to how to do that. All right. If this were like a presentation, you could even take that cheetah picture and just put it right here on the sketch, and that's gonna like help add some context to what you're doing. All right. Will the shoe have auto lock feature <laughs> where it measures the person's foot? Sure. I mean, this gap could close up, right? All right. So let's say. Um, Let's say I want to, like I said, have some of this cheetah material. This is going to take so long, but I kind of want to do it. Like a little bit of cheetah pattern somewhere. Um, maybe my laces actually come over and then in. All right, so let's bring those over my shoe here. And again, work light till you get it right. Okay, the spacing's a little bit off, but it's not a huge deal. We can fix that. I should mention as well, I've had a few of you contact me about tutoring. That's something I still offer right now. Um, not sure how many more people I'm going to take on, but if you are interested, that is something that I do. Let's do something interesting on the front here. Um, okay, so there's the front of our shoe right through there. Yeah, it's definitely starting to feel like a basketball shoe, but um, that's all right. Maybe next time, Gebre. And I could put a sock, sock liner on the inside or something. Or maybe this is some strap in the front. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up right now. Okay, let's do some quick marker. Um, and like I said, I, I did want to do some sort of cheetah something. So maybe the toe of the shoe is like cheetah print. And then maybe this little back section here could be cheetah print just a little cut out to tie it all together start from the back on the bottom here just get our tooling in So just like that, I'm leaving this area intentionally light because I want it to be a highlight. Again, if, if I'm thinking of the topography or the, the contour on the shoe, I just want that to be, to be lighter to indicate that it's facing, facing up. I never noticed you have your pinky out fancy-wise. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> I totally do. Um, also, if you, I don't know, how many people are industrial designers watching as opposed to others? Let me pick a, let me just do a quick color check here on the cheetah. Looks like we got a nice bright yellow. So I'm gonna use this yellow 11 as my base. I want this like gold tip. So not only can you be inspired by the form, again, just looking at the form, the structures, things that are happening here, um, but also it could be the color and materiality of what you're doing. All right, a little bit of texture through there, and then I want there to be some shade, and then I'll add the spots, all right? Um, let's see, color-wise, what am I thinking here? What are we doing, what are we doing? I'm gonna have to bring this up over, finish that cage. Maybe we've got a little bit of a peak here. So I'm just gonna shade that in. All right, we can do our laces as well, if we want them the same color. And if you angle your marker the right way, you can you can save a ton of time <laughs> by the way all right so even just doing those laces just boom 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 we're done okay maybe maybe just a little bit of a little bit of coarse shadow shading across here just to give it give it a little bit of value play man this looks weird on the YouTube <laughs> definitely if you're a patron you want to check this out 
um, at least the high resolution scan when you get it. On Instagram, this looks crazy right now. This looks crazy, I get it. Um, actually, let's see. Oh, there we go, boom. All right, looks better now. Okay, take care, Lori. Thanks for joining and hanging out. We'll see you next time. All right, hopefully. I wanna count on you being here if you're not planning on it. But I will chase down those post photos. I almost said photos. Those photos of Post Malone for you. Um, if you're just joining, Post Malone lives in my neighborhood, and Lori doesn't believe me, so I will be chasing down evidence since my credibility is at stake here. I am running out of my Cool Grade 2 in this particular marker brand, though, which is frustrating. Super frustrating. So I'm gonna jump to my jump to my expensive markers. See if we can salvage this. All right, so we may have something like that. Um, I was kind of thinking just like a nice white leather here. All right, just thinking about some nice white leather. So, Austin Post lives in my neighborhood. Is that his name, Austin? Austin Post? I have no idea, what's his real name? Does anyone even know? Besides Ricky, apparently. All right, so this is gonna be leopard, leopard here, um, and I think white leather, and then I'm trying to figure out what to do with this cutout. Maybe I'll do, I'll do some like dark mesh or something right in here. We'll just make it dark, and then I'll add some texture to it. Something like that. And then I gotta figure out what's happening on the tongue. So let's go ahead and just put a dark shape in for now. And I'll use this just around the perimeter. Right, little little jogs here. And then I can have a nice dark sock liner and lining. Not sock liner, but lining. This is actually cool. I'd wear these shoes if they're a basketball shoe. Do kids say do kids say rock anymore? Not rock these. Or am I aging myself by saying rock? So sketch a day live. Thanks for joining. <laughs> we are having fun, as always. It's your first time? Hit subscribe. Poor favorito. I should mention. Um, thank you to those who applied to the context, or not context, offsite design school. There's so many ad advanced design properties and brands now, like I keep mixing them up, but um, the online design school we have started for this fall, so that's going to be exciting. I'm actually not teaching a drawing class, which I kind of like. I'm teaching a class on design discourse, discussion, how to debate, how to present, pitch, form your opinion, challenge convention, we're gonna have a blast. So, hope to see you there, some of you. I don't know if, Tom, if you signed up or got in. Um, unfortunately, I was not part of the review process. Ah, mistake. Kind of a mistake, but not really, because that's gonna be Leopard anyways. So yeah, that should be fun. Um, also, as a side note, I do have an article out in Innovation Magazine if you're an industrial designer for this falls issue so check that out as well it's about the relationship between you and your work I kind of elaborate a little bit more I did a video on the channel here a while back about that um, let's see I don't have I don't have a link to the video but I'll just take a look at this cheetah pattern here alright so 
I'm just going to go ahead and we'll just do our little interpretation of that cheetah pattern. So hopefully this answers your question about being inspired by nature, what that might entail. Once again, shout out to Paul Sohi for the fat beats, lo-fi tunes for the channel. These are custom, special, unique, made for a sketch a day live. So if you're interested, want to pitch in, let me know. I'll compensate you somehow, even if it's a hug. Hugs are free though, always, unless that sounds too creepy. <laughs> uh. But I will say, if you ever run into me in real life, um, feel free to say hi anytime. I've run into people before, um, just out and about, usually while traveling. Someone, sometimes people recognize me and like, hey, what's up? <laughs> so it's always fun. Um, all right, let's add some line weight here, kind of like we did on the chair, just to help crisp this up. All right, so again, without being too literal, here's an example how you might approach. Now we can add some details like little jogs in the tooling, might be a little line here or there. Instagrammers, FYI, this is going to end soon unless Mark Zuckerberg and team have changed the process. Um, you'll probably get cut off here pretty quick. So just an FYI. Usually they, they let you stream for an hour, but I'm pretty sure we're over an hour now. So I kind of like these shapes. They're almost like the necklace for Black Panther, these little little jogs here. It'd be cool if, um, I hope someone does, maybe, maybe it already exists, but I hope someone does like a special edition Chadwick Boseman shoe and it has like some giant teeth on it. Or maybe someone wants to make these. That'd be cool too. Would need a lot of work, but still, still would be cool. Yeah, I, th I think uh, I think Facebook changed it, or maybe they're doing a beta which they do from time to time, where sometimes, maybe I'm speaking too soon, but sometimes they'll, they'll do things where they'll like have a feature. And they'll kind of just roll it out and see what people think. So this might be one of those things where it's rolled out, but not really. Because I'm pretty sure the stream was supposed to end a little while ago, but hey, if it's still going, it's going. Let's see, what did Paul call this tune? This is called uh, New York Subway Ride. Yeah, I had, I had Paul, um, or asked Paul, I was asking a bunch of people, um, but Paul offered to do it because, yeah, I didn't want to run into any, like, copyright trouble on the YouTubes, have them shut things down, you know? So it's kind of nice to have my own stuff. I believe he's going to release them on Spotify at some point, so if you like it, you'll be able to listen to his set here that he's created.
a little bit of a wiggly edge here just to communicate softness. Yeah, my washing machine's freaking out right now. <laughs> like straight up freaking out. All right, I just got this brown pencil here and use this to add some shading. We got the BFM in the house, the big fat marker. But before we go there, I didn't get it. I do. <laughs> I didn't get it. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some wrinkles in this, almost like it's you know leather, got just a nice white leather, just really light through here. Again, just pay attention to materials, things around you. You'll be able to pick up on some cues, things you can do to help enhance your sketches as well. What is this? Cool grade five. I use comparisons to Hitler to win arguments on the internet at the drop of a hat. did want that section to feel a little different. No logo, but a logo would kind of help this area out, I think, um, if I did have something here, you know, swoosh or whatever. But I'm gonna do no logo. It's the Cheetah brand of shoe. Pencil, pencil here. I've been meaning to draw some Air Force Ones. It's one of the next little pieces I want to do. Um, so I'll post those. All right, big fat marker, let's go. I just like this marker. It just has such a, a nice feathered kind of brush feel to it. Careful here, it's just nice and dark. It's great. Alright, something like that. Hey. Alright. We are wrapping up, guys. Thanks for hanging, being here. Shout out to all you new people. Um, let's see. Reminding you a bit of Sahele Bembury Versace joint. Yeah, I could see that. Maybe like a gold, like a gold tag on this would be be cool if there was like some sort of chain tag it was like all gold actually that would be do I have my gold ink I can't find my gold paint or I'd totally do it for you right now I do have gold pens but yeah, a nice gold tag here would be like dope. Just like some sort of, you know, hanging golden. Let me see if I can find it real quick, cause that'd be fun. That would be fun. All right, no luck yet, but hang tight. Hang tight, guys. Okay, so I have this metallic gold pen that I've never used. It's by uh, Karen Marker. I did promise them I would use it at some point, so YOLO, let's see how this goes. It's more like a green than a like straight up gold, but maybe I can even throw some of this on the laces. Kind of cool. And then here, it's like a greenish gold. 
It's actually a really good gold pen. If, the, if we're just a little bit more yellow, I'd be, I'd be totally happy with it. I would be totally, totally happy. All right, but maybe we got some. Something around our lace here. And let's go ahead and throw a shadow in with my marker. All right, so we know that's on top. Forgot to add some shadow here as well. And then now on top of this, um, Call this maybe just cheetah cat no cat is caterpillar um, I don't know I'll just put my squiggle squiggle logo on it I don't know I don't know let's put a let's put my squiggle logo on something like that Karande okay so there is an example of a somewhat quick and inspired shoe. Again, you can see the cat on the screen, just pulling some of those lines in from the leg. Here's the, uh, what I would consider to be the gesture of the cat along with these lines, right? So you can be interpretive about your design. I just messed that up. You can be interpretive about your design. I'll fix it, don't worry guys. Um, <laughs> Just by pulling in gestures into your sketch. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, thanks so much for watching, for your support, for hanging. Um, if you're looking for other ways to support, check out the site. There's a store there um, if you want to pick stuff up. But also, just being here is actually the, the best and most important thing you can do. If you want to become a patron and get access to the high-resolution scans of... This sketch, I just ruined my Sharpie as well, but we're back in business. Too bad Ricky doesn't still work for Newell Rubber Rubbermaid and I can get unlimited Sharpies. <laughs> um, but if you're interested in that, just hit up patreon.com slash sketchaday. Sign up if you want to support even further. You can also make donations or just come back next time. Tell a friend, you know, sharing is caring. So, and like Latrice always says, go ahead and like the stream. It helps me, helps you, more people will see it and so forth. All right, guys, we out. Just a quick recap, what we did before as well. Here's the chair. This will also be uploaded as well with our little instructional sheet above. So that'll be on the Patreon folder. All right. You guys take care. Much love. Peace to you and yours. Am I am I live on the front? Yes, I am. Peace to you and yours. I'm going to go eat some lunch and then it's back to work again. <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a day. All right. Take care. I'll see you next time. I'll be back tomorrow um, on Friday. So just bring your ideas. Um, if you want me to overlay something, last time I did an avocado last Friday. So, well, Saturday because I didn't do Friday. But um, if you want me to redraw something, that's totally cool. Or just bring your ideas. All right. Take care. Peace out. <laughs>